what I got here is all the essentials that I need to build a habitat, baby. Right here on Aboriginal Nature Channel, baby. Let's get it. Okay, what I've done <clears throat> is I've put a hole right here. You see it? And I put a piece of sponge, some of this, inside of it. Now that's tucked in there and I got this hole right here for a reason. Now you're gonna see why I put that hole in there if you keep watching. It's very important that I do that, you know what I'm saying? Just keep on watching, y'all. Now this is the part that's gonna give me the most headache. I'm gonna take this Vaseline and I'm gonna surround that just a little bit because I'm gonna have to put them in this and put this top on there before they can get out. And I gotta have it already ready to go when I put them in there, like seriously, okay? Like seriously. But I can do it. It's gonna take a little ingenuity, but I can do it. The key is to put the Vaseline around the sides, but you don't wanna to put too much because you still need to be able to see inside. Do you see what I'm saying? Now that's what I'm ready to do now. Here we go, it is done. Only thing I gotta do now is seal it. Man, you would not believe this, but all of them were just in one area. They were in one area, so the nymphs were easy to catch. They were easy to catch, and there's a bunch of them. The adults almost got away, two of them, but I got them. I got them. They're all in here now. You see that? It took me 15, maybe 20 minutes to get this done. Yeah. Yeah. See that? I had to wipe wipe it down a little bit. I might have to wipe it down a little bit more. But the thing is, I can sit my camera right on top of the habitat now and record. You see what I'm saying? And record. I can go over the landscape like an eye, a big eye, and record. You see what I'm saying? That's the wonderful thing about this and when I put it on micro I'll be able to get better shots I couldn't do this before you see that I could not do this before I couldn't but now I can and that's a good thing this is where the business is going to happen that I put the stuff that they can the stuff that they're most familiar with I stuck inside of the little thing that I made you know what I'm saying now this is what I'm going to have to fix you see this now you see this little guy right here? He's trying to get out. And he will succeed if I don't do something about it. You see what I'm saying? He will succeed. Now, I'm finna take care of that, y'all. I just want y'all to see how much progress I made. And I will be right back showing you what's good, okay? Look at that. That's perfect, man. That's perfect. Look at that. That's perfect. They mad at me right now. They really mad at me because I I, 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 I jeopardized what they call it. I mean, I violated them, basically, because I took their habitat from you. Imagine somebody just moving you out your house. But that's what I did. That's what I did. I moved them out of their house and took them and put them in a new house. But in the long run, it'll be better for them, okay? Ah, finished. I got the glue all the way around, all the way around, you see that? All the way around, all the way around. You see that shit? Yeah, all the way around. So we straight with that. I popped the hole in there so I can put the straw all the way in, you see that? That's the hole, I had to use the glue gun to do that. But that's a good thing. I'm gonna tell you something. When you're dealing with arts and crafts, it's good, but when you're dealing with building type of terrarium these types of terrariums and all of this anything that got to do with trying to recreate life in your house where you put live this live that it is essential to have a glue gun a glue gun does the work of poking holes and it, it seals up you can't sometimes you don't want to wait three four hours for the glue to dry i put this on there within five minutes as dry as ever and it turns into this plastic you see what i'm saying this light plastic. And these things are cheap. They don't cost but like a dollar for like 15 or you can get like, I don't know, you can get some shit of them. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry, you can get a whole bunch of them. You know what I'm saying? For cheap. 
and you just put them in your glue gun and you're ready to go. You see what I'm saying? You're ready to go and then you, there's no limit to your, you know, imagination. You see what I'm saying? You just drop that in there and you got your glue. You know what I'm saying? You can seal this, poke that. I made this within one hour, actually. It took me one hour to create this and probably another hour to two to actually arrange it. So I put three hours into this and I actually took the roaches out of the other container and put them in here. So now I got my Germans, I got the one American cockroach and I also got the, uh, I haven't figured out what type of cockroach he is. I call him Brownie because he got a brown head. He's in here. And I don't know where none of these guys are at right now because they just running around and all this, but I can guarantee you this. I'm going to have lots of fun using this to make movies now, to make films, because I can get just as close as I need to. And with the micro lens, I'll be able to see what they see. You see what I'm saying? That's amazing, right? You see how close I can get? I just got to show. I, just, I know I keep doing this, but I got to show y'all how. This is why I did this. This was my idea. And this is the crazy part. Let me tell you this. This is what's going to mess you up right here. I got all this stuff out of the dollar store. I paid a dollar for the rocks, a dollar for both packs of rocks, and this container was a dollar. The container now. Now, the only thing that caught me to tell you something, it's going to make this going to this going to trip you out. This black thing that I got in here that I'm using for a refuge for them is a sporting waves container and that sporting waves cost more than this whole entire setup that thing was like five six seven dollars probably like eight you know how spot much cut you can get sometimes sporting waves run you like nine dollars you see what i'm saying it cost me more to put this in there than the whole container itself but to me i got my money's worth because i'm using the same I recycled a lot of the stuff that from, that was in the other one for scent purposes because, as you can see, they're hanging around all of the objects from the old container because that has the same scent that they're used to. Now, eventually, the scent will merge with the scent from here, and they will get used to everything. You see what I'm saying? That's when they'll get comfortable and everything will be okay. I got the water towel up in there for them. You know, I still forgot to take the paper off, but it's cool. They will have two <clears throat> means of getting water. The water towel that I'm going to put right here that goes into that little habitat, this habitat that's in the middle, I'm going to have a towel that puts water in there to keep that moist because they need that. And it's in the center, as you can see, so it'll moisturize everything. And the rocks will, because they're rocks, and I learned this from, from ants, the rocks are good conductors of moisture because they get dew on them. Whenever moisture evaporates, the rocks stay cool and the water builds up on them. So the roaches will be able to just crawl around just like ants would do and get the moisture off the rocks. Ain't that something? That's what I'm doing. Like I say, you see what he's doing? That leaf is from the other habitat. You see what I'm saying? And he's staying close to all of the things that smell like what he's used to. The leaf, the rocks, and all that. You see what I'm saying? Same thing over here. If I want to get good shots, all I have to do is place the camera somewhere where there are things from the other habitat. You see what I'm saying? That should give you some idea of what bugs, roaches do in your house. That's why they always stick to certain areas and you have more problems with certain areas than others. See, I'm studying these and I'm putting it on Wikipedia so people, even people that want to kill these bugs will have the information that they need to study and go back and know how to do it. I know a way to take them out and I can give it to you right here, right now on this even though I don't approve of it because I love life. but. What you do is you take some boric acid, mix it with an egg, and put sugar in it. Stir it into their little balls, and then put place them around doors and stuff. Now, the egg is going to draw the roaches out. The sugar is going to make it taste good. They're going to eat it, but they're going to be eating boric acid. That's going to kill them. You see what I'm saying? It's going to dry them out immediately and kill them. That's how you take out bugs. 
Not this stuff that they tell you on TV. They just trying to make a dollar. They don't care about you. They don't care about you. They just trying to make a dollar off of you. You know what I'm saying? I think this this is this is my own boy right here. Brownie. Because he came out, he said Brownie was, that's Brownie. That is Brownie. Alright, y'all. Let me get y'all one more good look at the habitat. Now what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put the water tower on it and then we're gonna call it one. Oh yeah, you see how I sealed that? That's sealed. You see that? Remember I told you how I sealed it? It's sealed, baby. They can climb all around. But I ain't got to worry about them climbing out, you see? Even the little ones. That's called making provisions, baby. You make provisions. Provisions. You understand? <clears throat> I apologize for the light. That's from my cell phone so I can get good shots. Really, I don't need the light, actually, because it's lighter. It's nice, bright enough in here. All right, let me go ahead and put the water towel on there and then.